Hey guys, my name is Chris Barocci. Welcome to my channel. And this is going to be a new episode of Guitar Tweaks. Let's talk about setting up your guitar's neck. Let's talk about truss rod and um, neck relief and everything. I even sport my little GoPro here, hello, to, uh, to give you a few close-ups. A few months ago, I uploaded a video about fast guitar checks, like how can you check the setup in your neck. If you didn't see that episode, check out the link here above and uh, click on it, watch it. It's, it's a very useful little, you know, sort of a tips and tricks video. And um, this time we'll focus on the neck and the truss rod. So let's check the setup real fast. I'll do the same thing what I did in the first video, what I did about fast guitar setup checks. So um, press down and just choose a string, press down last fret, first fret, and get as much in the middle as I can. I hope you can see it on the GoPro that there is barely any movement. Wait, let me come a little closer. I hope the light is right. There's a bit of a movement, but it's barely visible and um, what also helps you to decide if it's enough or not as long as you hear something this click 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 um, when the string touches the top of the fret uh, where you hit it uh, that's good that means that there is movement and uh, if there's no sound whatsoever your neck is too straight so you have to loosen the truss rod uh, let's check on the six string too you can definitely hear the cluck, 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 cluck. And I also see a bit of a movement. So this is an example of a guitar with a perfectly set up neck. You don't fret out. And you don't have any issues. Uh, the, um, the tension is ridiculous. It's really fast. It's, you know, it's something uh, I want to see on all my guitars. Next guitar. That is my trusty old Les Paul. It's not that old. It's uh, uh, three years old. Uh, but um, I love this guitar. It's one of the best sounding Les Pauls for my taste. And uh, I love the neck. The neck is, look at this neck. Look at it. It's like the biggest neck ever. I love it. But it's still very comfortable to play. But what I realized, uh, I didn't set it up for way over a year now. It's still nice and playable. It's not, you know, a struggle to play. But I realized that the neck is not perfectly straight or the way I want it. Uh, when I swap from other guitars of mine to this one and I realized, oh, wait a second, that's different, you know. So um, that's a giveaway always. Can you see this? I hope, I really hope you can see this. If not, I'll curse when I'm editing this. <laughs> All right, so uh, I hope there's something coming through the camera lenses. This is like, I guess, almost a millimeter, which is still good. You know, it's not terrible. It's just not the way I like it. I like a slightly um, curved neck, which means it's almost straight, but not straight. A straight neck is only for stupidly fast shredders, which I'm not and it will never be. But um, I like bendings. I don't like to fret out, so I like a 
tiny bit of a, a relief on the neck, but this is too much. So what will you have to do? This is a last pole, so you have access to the truss rod here at the headstock. Um, in this case, you have a plastic cover. On many guitars, you don't even have a cover. Um, you just have to put it off and then you'll have access to the truss rod. In this case, with Gibson guitars, PRS guitars, uh, some Ibanez guitars, you do have this kind of tool to use. I hope it's in focus. And that goes on the nut and that's it. You just have to turn to the right or to the left. And um, with that, I will tighten the truss rod a little bit. Let's remove the cover. And then you'll see this little guy. That is gonna be our truss rod. Basically the screw head on the truss rod end. So if you wanna tighten the truss rod and the whole neck, you will have to go clockwise. If you're looking this direction. <laughs> You go clockwise, you straighten up the neck, which means the nut goes to the back and it starts to get sort of a belly at the middle. And if you want to loosen it, you go counterclockwise. And with that, your, your neck will start to look concave, which means the middle of the neck starts to hang a little bit. This is the, the opposite. So um, if you feel that there is too much air between the string and the fret in the middle, when you push down the first and the last fret, you have to tighten it up. I'll just show you once more how it looks right now. Yeah, so it's like a millimeter. Then I tighten this, the truss rod just a tiny little bit. You don't wanna go crazy. Just one eighth or one sixteenth of a turn is enough in many cases. Let's check it again. Oh, it looks way better already. You also should wait a couple of minutes um, when you move the neck around because um, because wood needs some time to readjust and to get used to the new situation and the new tension. Okay, so still It's a tiny bit too much. Let me check the sixth string It's not a lot. It's not a lot. So um, I just do a tiny turn That's it uh, There you go You can still see some movement but it's, it's not a lot. And that's exactly what I want to have. Oh yeah, almost too much. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Let's check out if the guitar plays right. It does. Good. Next guitar. Last but not least, my good old Telly. It's uh, my absolute favorite guitar and I play it to pieces, really. Um, it's um, my absolute number one guitar. There's a tiny bit of a movement you can still hear this uh, cluck cluck, 
but not a lot. Okay, uh, but gotta be honest. There's a little bit, but you know what? It's a vintage style guitar, so um, I think I'll just release the neck a tiny bit, not a lot. Just, um, just to have a bit more relief on the neck and um, more freedom. It's a 9.5 inch radius um, fretboard, so it's sort of a, a round fretboard. It's not a crazy vintage one, but um, still, if I go too deep with the... Um, the strings it starts to well not fret out but it starts to get weird fret noises i'm not sure if this comes through the mic but um there is a th this is the limit if i would go lower i would lose sustain so uh it's a vintage style guitar there's no access to the truss rod here on the top but instead right there in order to get there I need to remove the neck there's a trick though The trick is using a uh, capo, capo, whatever you want to pronounce it. <laughs> you put the capo, capo on the first fret. You don't have to push it real hard. Uh, just uh, put it on that when you um, loosen the strings, they will not pop out here because that's annoying and uh, takes a long time to get them back in, you know, and uh, if you have the capo there, this will just hold them down enough to uh, to keep the strings in the tuning machines, which is very nice, saves you a lot of time. You just have to loosen them. You don't have to completely remove them necessarily, unless you wanna change the strings, which makes things easier, of course. But this way, you can just loosen these and then remove the neck, but not completely. You just um, unscrew these ones, these four uh, screws, and um, just pop the neck out enough to have access to the screw here. Cool, let's remove the neck. Okie dokie. You have to be careful, of course, it's a bolt on neck and it will be moving at this point. I don't want some wood to chip, you know, from uh, putting too much pressure on it. I just want to make sure I can put it higher a little bit. And then, as you see, hopefully, <laughs> I have access to the screw. And I will just loosen it a tiny bit. That's it. In case you're afraid of this whole process, just uh, don't be. <laughs> That's really simple, actually. Just don't over tighten uh, the truss rod. Um, just don't overdo anything. Just do a tiny adjustment and check if it's better. If it's worse than it was, then just reverse the whole thing you did and you're back you know, where you were. It's not something you can completely mess up unless you do something mad and just you know, force the guitar to do something that it will not do. Let's screw back the neck. Now all we have to do is tune the guitar because the strings are still like this. Whenever you have a guitar with a vintage truss rod, which is mostly Fender guitars, you have to remove the neck. And whenever you have to remove the neck to change the tension and, and to access the truss rod, you sort of have to guess how much you want to turn clock or clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, so it's, you know, you never know if it was enough. You can look down the neck, of course, when you completely remove it and just, you know, check how it looks. But that doesn't tell anything because the strings are not pulling the neck to the front at that point. So um, that's just 
sort of um, an idea of how the neck looks like, but uh, you can get used to it. And if it's a good guitar like this one, you don't need to do that a lot. And especially if the guitar gets older and wood gets drier, it sort of gets more stable too. Let's uh, see how the guitar plays. If the uh, strings are a bit higher, I'll go down with the settles. I'll see if it's necessary or not. feels perfect so uh, I'll just leave it how it is. Make sure your neck is set up properly that's step number one and most important thing in order to get a nice setup a nicely playable guitar a good sounding guitar. I will come back to this theme in the future in the next couple of weeks and uh, we'll talk about the nut how to file a nut what you should uh, be aware of and what you need um, for that and then the last thing is going to be intonation and uh, string height. So you guys take it easy. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. You know exactly what to do. I tell this all the time. Um, see you down in the comment section. Cheers, guys. <laughs>